Okay, for this example, it's not written in the proper form because according to our notes, we always have to have a one after the equal sign. And you also want to have a fraction so that way you can tell what the A and the B values are. So in this case, we have to do some uh, dividing on this. Particularly what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole equation and we're going to divide uh, both sides by 144 because then we get a 1 over here. So basically whatever number you see after the equal sign, that's the one you want to divide by. So 36x squared plus 4y squared equals 144 we start with. And again, this is what we're doing. We're just dividing everything by 144 because we want to get it into the proper form. So when we do that, we're gonna, we want to reduce each of the fractions that we have here. So 36 over 144, that's 1 fourth. So let's write that as a 4 in the bottom. This one here, when we divide that, 4 divided by 144, you're going to get uh, 136. So we're going to get a 36 in the bottom here. And then we get a 1 on the end. So this is now the correct form because now we have a 1 after the equal sign. What we notice about this one is the larger number is underneath the y. So if the larger number is underneath the y, that means we have an ellipse that does this. We have an ellipse that opens, uh, goes up and down in the y direction. So now that we have that one, we're ready now to answer the questions here. So it's the, we don't have any um, uh, parentheses around the x and the y, so because of that, we know that it's once again going to be centered at 0, 0. We've got to find the, uh, the a and the b values here. We said that always that a is a larger number. So, in this case, your a is going to have to be the square root of this larger number, square root of 36 is 6. Square root of 4, that's the smaller number, that's your b. We get 2. So we have a, a is 6, b is 2. We want to find the c value. We can do c by doing the square root formula. a squared minus b squared, so 6 squared minus 2 squared. And you're going to get 36 minus 4, which is going to be the square root of 32. Now, square root of 32, uh, we can write as this. You can write that as uh, 16 times 2, which means that square root of 16 is 4 comes out. And we get 4 square root of 2 there uh, as, as our c value. Okay, so now that we have that complete, we're ready now to answer these questions here. Now, your eccentricity is your c over the a. So we're going to do 4 square root of 2 over 6, which is 2 square root of 2 over 3 if we reduce that and just for uh, for decimal purposes that's going to be equal to 0.94 so 0.94 is your eccentricity so the last example we had eccentricity was 0.8 so that means that 0.94 it means it should be a little bit more narrow than the one we did before so it looks again not quite as rounded as the one because we had a larger eccentricity major axis 2 times a 2 times 6 is 12, minor 2 times b, 2 times 2 is 4. So we have that information complete. Now we're ready to do the graph. Now again, we have it centered at uh, 0, 0, so we're going to begin with that one. We know it's going to go up and down this time because the larger number was underneath the y. The a always goes in the direction that it opens up. So because it goes up and down, a value also has to go up and down. We're going to go up 6. So we go up uh, 6 right here. We make a dot. We go down 6. Make a dot. Right there, the A values that we just did there, those are your vertices. So we're going to write those coordinates down. That's 0 plus or minus 6. So 0 plus or minus 6, that's our vertices. Uh, we're going to go left and right with our B value of 2. We go this way and we go this way. So now we have those, which means the graph itself is going to look like this. Okay, so we have that. And now we're going to use our C value. The C is 4 uh, square root of 2. So basically from here you're going to go up 4 square root of 2 and you're going to go down 4 square root of 2. The coordinates for that would be this. It would be 0 plus or minus uh, 4 square root of 2. And the decimal of that, this is about 5.6 approximately. So we're going to go up 5.6, make a dot right here. Down 5.6, we'll make a dot down below there. And that's where the actual vertices would appear. So 
Again, it's a little bit more narrow than the one we did before because it's a little bit longer this direction with the same width, so that's why it, it becomes more narrow there, and that's again because of the eccentricity, 0.94 is closer to one.